Junet. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, this is one of the most dangerous missions that the government of the Republic of Kenya has ever sent outside this country, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, numbers don't lie. The statistics are very clear. In the last nine months, 2,400 people were killed in Haiti by gangs. 900 women were raped. 900 people were maimed. The statistics are there in black and white, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, this is a country that has killed, I don't know, three or four presidents of theirs. Four. And you're sending here people who normally carry, you know, these jembe rungus to just beat us as mere people in the street here, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, you, you think it is a business of jembe rungus in town here, there? Madam Speaker, this is a serious matter, and I want to thank, I want to thank Honorable uh, Oloch for bringing it. Madam Speaker, this is a matter that requires deep thoughts, Madam Speaker. Look, as a neighbor, we are dealing with insurgents from Somalia on Al Shabaab, and every day we are having casualties. The shores of Florida is just two hours from Haiti, Madam Speaker, by boat. Two hours only by boat to Florida. Why are you not helping those people? Why do you want to send Kenyans there, Madam Speaker? This one, I strongly oppose, Madam Speaker. And this matter should be brought to Parliament first for debate and ratification before any police officer leaves this country. Yes. Your time is up, Honorable Junette. I will indulge the majority leader. But Honorable Members, also remember, Member for Madare has made a general statement. So there are other avenues of bringing this issue to the floor. But I'll give the majority leader, we close it at that and go to the questions. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Let me thank the member for Madare, Honorable Antonio Aloch, for that general statement, which I must commend him because it was done in a rather professional manner, not in a manner to disparage our officers, not in a manner that is unpatriotic as the leader of minority and the minority whip have endeavored to show their unpatriotism in disparaging our officers, our sons and daughters in uniform. An honorable speaker, we also can't use this floor to discuss a friendly nation like the United States of America. Unless we have a substantive motion that has been brought, and I believe the statement by Honorable Anthony Oluoch had nothing to do with the state of the United States. Therefore, even to be imputing improper motive on the United States, or indeed our officers, who are being deployed in part of the world, and we are part of the global world and the, the, the uh, uh, nations of this world, Honorable Speaker. And I've heard what the Honorable Junette is asking, that they share borders, of course, with other countries, just like the Kenyan state does not share a border with the Democratic Republic of Congo. And our officers are there, with the approval of this House. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, if we are part of the community of nations, we must act as part of that community of nations. Today it is Haiti. Who knows? Tomorrow could be one of our neighbors. Could be us. If we allowed Honorable Junet and Honorable Pio and I to continue with the reckless civil riots that we saw them engage in earlier this year. That is how countries degenerate to become what Haiti is today. And therefore, being part of the global community of nations, Honorable Speaker, we must be patriotic enough to support our men and women in uniform. And Honorable Speaker, that does not mean that if we are sending our sons and daughters to a faraway country, Honorable Speaker, to serve in the community of nations, the best we can do is to encourage them, not to instill and sell fear to them and their families. That is the height of unpatriotism. That is the height of Honorable being Amoka. reckless what is as leaders.
Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, is the Honorable Ichungwa in order to continually uh, discuss our leaders, as Azimio leaders, in bad light while knowing that the Kenyan police are not trained in the military affairs and are going to die in Haiti? Is he in Majority Leader. Honorable Speaker, please allow me to ignore the Honorable Jack Wamboka, the member for Bumula, because he may not understand some of these things and we understand him. Because, Honorable Speaker, I was saying the police are going to Haiti on a policing mission to restore law and order like they do every day. Honorable Speaker, they are not going into a nation where there is war. And there's a whole difference between restoring law and order. That is why we are not sending the Kenyan Defense Forces. We are sending the police to restore, to deal with gangs. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, that particular, Honorable Speaker, if you can protect me from these unnecessary interjections by people who Actually, are... Actually, Majority Leader, we had cut two minutes kindly wider. Let me, let, me, let me finish. It's only that I'm being interrupted by this uh, uh, otherwise uh, reckless uh, shouting 